Hello everyone. Just wanted to share some Russ Martin Show memories that I have of Russ on his show. First one is the Happy the Clown eulogy that he did. The family of Happy the Clown, from what I understand, gave him permission to do this. And it's quite humorous. Also, the Dallas Cowboys Sermon. In that Cowboys Sermon, I think it was before a game against Chicago, he does suggest something that the Cowboys could have on their helmets, at least some of them, in place of the star. They're both on YouTube as well, if you'd like to see Russ in his much, much younger days. He had a show on Channel 33 in Dallas, H-O-T-T-C-K-T-S, or H-O-T-T-I-C-K-E-T-S. But I watched a couple of his shows, and uh, quite interesting to see him at such a young age. And of course, when Russ would be off and they'd play the best of Russ Martin, at some point, the guys did the show, instead of Best of Russ Martin, they did the show Minus Russ. And the first shows were rough around the edges to be expected. And it was almost like a bunch of kids in a classroom going through the teacher's desk and computer. Ooh, what's over here? What do we have here? I mean, just really kind of humorous in the beginning. And it's so interesting to see how the show has evolved with the guys to where it is now. And of course, Russ picking on Rodney Anderson and his love for pets, having the weekly pet, the weekly dog come in, get to ask about it. And of course, now in 2021, they have to speak to Paws in the city by phone, but I remember one of his dogs passed away and he was flooded. The lines lit up with folks expressing sorrow and condolences to him. And it just almost brought him to tears, as I recall. The appreciation and sorrow shared by so many. Because as a dog and cat owner myself, they do become part of the family. And I digress. And it wouldn't be proper without mentioning the foundation. And how it would drive him nuts when folks would talk about his foundation. And he'd say, no, it isn't my foundation. It is the listener's foundation. Without the listeners, there'd be nothing. And I think the staff could tell me this and clear it up. I think he was nominated for a broadcast nomination and mentioned in the nomination was the foundation and he was, well, I can't say what Russ would say, but heck no. If I'm going to get a broadcast award, it's for what I'm doing, not because of the foundation that belongs to the listeners. You could really set him off by just saying the words, your foundation. And when the five were killed in downtown Dallas, I remember clearly Russ was in the hospital and he was quite concerned, not enough in the account to cover five checks. He was figuring he might have to leave the hospital and go put money in the account. And I remember him saying, I woke up the next morning, and thanks to the listeners, there was more than enough to cover the five checks, plus quite an excess above that. And I know, I think it would be Dan who would write a, or not write, read a letter of appreciation from one of those who had fallen, well, from the family of one of those who had fallen in the line of duty. And Russ would tell him, I think it was Dan again, 
You stop reading that, you're going to make me cry. And you don't want to make me cry. I can only visualize that. But one thing I do remember is at one point that they had cameras and you could watch what was going on in the studio while the show was going on. I'm not sure if the guys would play a best of one of those where the cameras were in there where you could kind of get a peek of what's happening uh, during the show that you don't necessarily get to see. So just a few memories of Russ and his show. And Russ, we miss you. We love you. Your show will live on. The Listeners Foundation will live on. Rest in peace. We're going to miss you. Not only are we going to, we do. But we're going to miss knowing that you won't ever be back to host your show. Rest in peace. Now let's see if I got my head in there.